probably be able to make an announcement on behalf of the governor here. It's, it's extra special, particularly in an area of upstate New York that we know for literally decades was neglected. And it took a governor from Queens to really say, you know what, this is not right. We've had these lone voices here in Albany uh, representing this area, but they were ignored. We just didn't have the population to justify the elected officials' presence in Albany, so we always lost out to downstate. And that's a fact of life. So the governor in the last six years has had a, an incredible focus on righting that wrong and trying to bring back upstate New York here any way we can. So a company like we're talking about today has had a, a long history. They keep reimagining the future of ice cream, which I really enjoy hearing about, and taking it to new levels with new products, new, new customers. And when you think also not just about the jobs we'll be talking about in a couple moments, but also the suppliers, the, the dairies that support this industry and the, uh, the trucking, you know, the uh, great people at the Teamsters and 